Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape related content with RuneScape related content creators. I'm Mitt Matt Cow, one of your hosts. What's going on, guys? Rakes as always. And it's me, Royce Cup. Hey, so we're going to start off this podcast talking about the newest thing that just came out today, right? Yeah, or maybe last night. Yeah, today. How do you say <laughs> it that? It was today. Fosani's? Oh, I've been trying to pronounce it all day, man. Yeah, Fosani's nightmare, probably. That's how you say it, though. Usually, with RuneScape I, pronunciation, I you're always wrong, right? Yeah. Nobody knows. It's just, that's my guess. We're going to get some comments down below about how to say it. <laughs> you know, Fosini, Fosani, uh, you know, Houdini. it would be like whatever. some douche with like 40 upvotes, like, it's for Shauner, you know, or some duck. Oh, yeah, man. it's Ardoin. Come on. It's Ar- Ardoin. I call it Ardy. Uh, oh, good comment down below, guys. If you uh, have some sort of RuneScape word you could never pronounce and you always said it the, for like your whole childhood, let us know. Mine was Ardun. I always pronounced Arjigon. Yeah. It's Ardune. <laughs> yeah, me and my friend it's, Arjigon. It's Arduin, isn't it? Is it, isn't it Arduin? Well, that's, yes, what, that's what I said. It's Ardugne, okay? So what, what word did you guys have, right? They probably had a couple Mate, words. Maybe. Pretty much every other word in the game I fucking You still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes your commentary great, though, man. It's you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it makes like no sense, literally. Oh, uh, do you know what? I will say this: I saw uh, a comment on the last video, and oh god, if I was logged in the old school Inkscape podcast channel, I would have hearted it straight away. It literally said something along the lines of tying into what we were just talking about before the podcast. It was something along the lines of Rakesy looks like he's gained all of the weight that Mint has lost, right? <laughs> so to tie into the conversation we just had, yes, guys, two things. Firstly, all right, actually, there's a lot of things, a lot of angles for my excuse for getting lost. Okay? <laughs> listen up, what boys. What the fuck, okay? man? Listen, all right. listen all right. up. We're getting into a, con- t- a tangent. We'll we give him we'll a minute. Needs, we'll give him a minute here. How about that? Yeah, you have two <laughs> minutes, Rakesy. We're going to have to put a time Two minutes? It. All right, yeah, two minutes two is minutes. fine. Firstly, quit vaping. I'm 25 days. No vape. 25 days. Can we get a thousand like likes for that? Thousand likes Thank for that? You. Subscribe. 20, dude, that's 100 good likes for, me. for every. I've been for years now. And honestly, it was fucking hard. First week was difficult. So that, right? Secondly, I'm growing a beard out. And I'm also growing my hair. You probably can't see it. My hair is actually long as fuck. I've not had a haircut now in like three months. Okay. You're turning into Everything old man cow. bigger. Probably, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, have you got I don't know. I don't know what the pictures or what you looked like back then. Do you have any pictures? Yeah, a lot of pictures. Uh fuck, do you want me to pull up my Instagram? <laughs> yeah, show me one. <clears throat> uh, we only got two minutes though, because Ree's timing us. Yeah. You Fair got, enough. Like, Fair, he so needs Ree, a timer. Keep, keep, keep talking. Keep Every talking. Every minute that goes right. by, I don't want to hairline just decreases a little bit backwards. <laughs> don't Every follow second. me on Insta, right, guys? Not promoting this, but yeah. See, I had like uh this is me and Ree last year at um Pax East, so just one year ago, actually. Yeah. Who Where's didn't have that no long beard? hair, though? Oh, I yeah. I got, I got it. It's a little longer. Oh, God. I was going to... Oh, no don't look at that. Oh, no, don't, right look at that. Oh, yeah. don't look at that. That one. That one. That's that one's Maybe that. Maybe that one. I don't know, dude. I kind of had a little bit of longer hair. I've been going shorter, yeah, you though. you need to show the one that has no beard. I'll extend oh, by no. a minute. Nah. Nah. Nah, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, look. Continue. Back, back, back on track. Okay. All right. <laughs> Quit vaping, right? Sort my sleeping pattern out. Been craving food like absolutely crazy. Be streaming every day this month. Twitch.tv forward slash Rexy, join me. We're going right? to be doing another <laughs> duo, right? All of yeah, these yeah. Things. And yeah, dude, I'm so down. We actually did a, a duo PK and Reese said that he's going to come on the next one. It was yeah, awesome. I didn't say next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you did. did. Yeah, I said you maybe. Said, you, said, said, you said you, you were said down. You, yeah. You, you said, said you were down if you got advanced notification. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you need to you didn't even ask me. <laughs> soon, <laughs> soon, soon. We don't have a date yet. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, we're definitely going to do that again. That was honestly a ton of fucking fun, man. Yeah, it's been good. It's been, it's been a good time. That's all I have to say. Um, the comment roasting me and complimenting Mint. Touche. Hey, Touché. no, be nice to Rakesy, all right? He's a good looking no, it's, dude. It's, it, no, I can take it, man. Just, I just be take. nice to everybody, guys. Yeah, and yo, Rice, get, get a shout out of your own, man. We both shouted out something. Yeah, that's shout. okay. Uh, let's let's move on. All dude. right, uh, I'm, Twitter I'm, I'm Rice Cup. There we go. All right, let's jump into it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Darkmire. So, Fosani Nightmare Rice. Tell us how many nightmares you've killed so far. Not this including, but just before. Uh, I've killed over nine hundred. I've done two hundred souls. Okay. And, and how long did that take you? Over two hundred hours. Two hundred hours, um, yeah. and no. Well, on average, how long's per kill, Ree? 
I've been how? watching quite a few. Episodes. Sorry, what were you saying? How long? Sorry, kill? Uh, how long per kill on average? Uh, I mean, solos take like twenty minutes, and then five minutes, minutes like five minutes. Yeah, that's absolutely <clears throat> mad, dude. I've been watching. I chill on your stream quite a lot actually, Ree, really, because it's just like relaxing, and I'm watching you kill it, and I'm so just waiting for the day. Stuff. <laughs> there, there you go there you go dude i'm waiting for the day that i hear like a scream from you like a, oh, oh my god like that's yeah, how you basically. do it. did you start out he like, just so pulls out a katana be... and shit really <laughs> 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 but no he still he said 200 hours you're still dry right yeah i haven't got anything no yet. item 200 so five x dry rarest boss in the game no drops they add a challenge mode to osani's nightmare if you want to explain that right since you you know a bit more about it well well yeah it is basically challenge mode and it has higher uh, not higher hp just more damage pretty much and lower hp right yeah slightly lower hp from what i heard so the times are uh, i guess similar to regular but but yeah you, you can only solo it so it you know it's and how it. how are the drops right how are the drops they're the same. Nothing what the changed. fuck, dude? Wait, wait, what let, is this? Dude, dude, read read what they've actually put here. Because I read it on stream earlier, and I was just like, yeah, trying yeah. to make sense highlight, of it. Highlight the part where it says, no, they're, the drops have not changed. Right. I, actually, I've got it right here. I, I, I like can do it. Okay. Part. Let me let me read this out to everybody. Where, where are you starting? Right here? Deep? Right. So, listen. Deep below the town of sleep, there is a cold, dark tomb within lies Fasani, the leader of the sisterhood, cursed to sleep for the rest of eternity. But the arrival of the nightmare has strived her, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's the exact same thing. I'll skip over that. The dreams of a former just cur are a powerful resource of the nightmare. And now she has come to bolster her power by entering this. Basically, that's just a bit of lore. Here's the important thing. For one week only, right? That's the interesting thing. There's a time limit on They've this. never so done this. To make sense of it. They've never, They've done, never done this. No. no. This is available to kill for one week only. You'll be able to fight. For, for Sani's nightmare yourself by entering the portal besides for Sani's coffin. This version of the nightmare is tougher and scarier, and to make matters worse, you'll have to take her on alone. So basically, it's the nightmare, but 100% solo, okay? Which, personally, I don't think that that's in itself, that part, is a bad thing. It wouldn't be a bad idea if there was the regular nightmare you could kill with teams, and then there was the one that you could kill on your own so you couldn't get crashed. I do I like that idea. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's fine. But this is weird. They've done it in a strange way. There's a time limit for one week, and then the next paragraph. But substantial rewards await those brave enough to try the challenge. So as soon as I read that this morning, I was like, okay, fuck, they've buffed the table. They've made it so that the drops are actually reasonable. I can go and solo it, and I can maybe kill 100, and I can actually get a piece of armor. Same. That's my, says, that was my thought, dude. That's yeah. My thought. The fastest global kill time within six months of Old School RuneScape membership and a signed piece of artwork featuring the Nightmare. Second place will receive three months of membership, oh, right. and third place will get one month of membership. You can double check the current fastest time on gravestones near the coffin, uh, and then it says note. The loot table for, for Sani's Nightmare has not been changed. So, so basically, they've made a boss which is 100% solo. They've made it so you can only kill it on your own. It's harder than the normal boss. And it has the exact same drop table. So when it says here, substantial rewards await those brave enough to take on the challenge, that is referring to the free people that get the fastest yeah. time in game. It just seems a little bit like, what? Like, and before we jump they did it. into the drop table that's not changed, I just got to say that they're giving out actual like in like IRL prizes. And when they did that before for King of the Skill and Deadman mode, there's people that it's been two, three years, they still have not received future podcasts. Their prize. Yeah, and I think it'd be good to say it now that we want to get a podcast and invite everybody who has not received their reward that they oh, earned yeah. from RuneScape. Maybe not everybody. Like well, some not, of the well, big yeah. Whatever we like can find. Sides, we'll maybe. throw out a net. We'll grab whatever we got. So hit us up right. on the podcast, Twitter, whatever. We want to get you on because uh, if we can help you get your prize or just make this more known... They can't be doing prizes and then never give them out. That we already got shit servers. Give us our fucking posters, okay? You know what I'm saying? So if you know someone, let us know. We'll get them on. Yeah, I think tag be great them. Let us let them know. Yes, yeah. I right. think right. So back to this actual yeah. subject here, like for the real discussion and the chat. I want you guys to let us know what your opinion is as well. I am literally dumbfounded on what exactly the point of this is 
why they've done it like this. Like, I don't, I, I, I'm ge- being genuinely curious. I'm not trying to be a sarcastic shit right now. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I'm trying to understand. You get a signed piece this? of artwork. What is this? You get a signed piece of artwork. It, it'll come to you in about three years, maybe. So, but... so you're, so you're saying this piece of content here is literally just a competition, and it's not anything else like it's just straight mm. a competition for those people that want to try to win themselves free membership it's wild because other mmos have competitions like this but they actually give out really good prizes and runescape has a merch shop and they have a lot of cool keychains and you know i mean fuck dude bump that shit up bro if you want to make it spicy uh they've given away computers and i think chairs as well so if you want to do, do you think that's all it is you think that we're being a little bit too pessimistic and they're literally just being like, hey, we're going to host a competition. If you want to do it, then do it. Like, the thing is, this this content right here is not designed for someone such as Re Rice Cup right now because you're currently trying to get a drop. And it would actually be harder for you to get a drop killing that version of the boss than it would your version of the boss. So, I do mean, you it's think only, this is it's just only a, a one week event. Yeah, no, it says yeah. one week only. It is literally okay. one week. And once it's over, that, that option is gone. You have to go back to the regular. And you know, do you it, think... it, it wouldn't matter because they're all well, the same drop rate. Well, Racy, so the <clears> reason <throat> why they would do this, right, is to build some sort of hype for the new boss, right? Just to see who can do it better. But you check Twitch and no one's actually streaming it. And it's the first day of release. I think Sync's streaming it. He got a shout out from RuneScape. But other than that, we we were trying to find people and not even the main content creators want anything to do with it right now, or at least from what I can see. So I I don't know what this (laughs) is. I don't know what this is. Do you know what I did, right? I I actually started up my stream, titled it for Sony Nightmare before I read this update. I literally had it in the title. I was like, boys, (laughs) we're about to go kill this boss. It's been updated. There's going to be some crazy shit happening. I'm going to be like, I've never soloed it. I'm going to solo it. I got it to the first phase and then I misclicked and I died and I was just like, I ain't doing it again. I was like, it, took me t- it took me 10 minutes or so to get the fucking first shield down. I was just like, nah, Back not to the doing it again. <laughs> yep. And like, I went into it, I did get to the boss and I read the little part that said that the drop table hadn't changed and I was just like, why am I even here? Yeah, I was like, okay, why so, am I even here? <laughs> so, um, there, there's a, can I, I'm going to talk about this now, if you guys don't mind. Which one? Yeah, go for it. Uh, actually, man, you should finish what you were saying first. Oh, and then we, I'll go in. I was just going to say kind of very quickly, um, I like the idea of a buffed boss, but there needs to be more, right? Maybe like a week of buffed Zora. That's actually a solo boss. People do it. They get better drops. They get better times. I think because people have been competing for high scores in Zora. Um, this boss doesn't, I don't know. It just didn't seem right with the rarity and everything. It's, it's not connecting. That's all I wanted to say. Go for it, Rice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this event was created by some guy they hired to specifically run community events. And honestly, I think it's just really poor timing and execution because you could have done a speed run event, right? For any boss, but they chose to do it for a boss that is already so dead content that people are already like pissed off even thinking about doing this boss. And especially the fact that you make it harder and not give you any additional rewards. It's, yeah. like, it's like a slap in the face. First of all, you're not addressing the problem that this is the only major boss of this entire year. This is it. This is what you get. And it's already dead content before a month is even in. And they decided to make an event for this boss before fixing it. Does, you know what I'm saying? No, it's I guess. a slap yeah. on the face. It's, it really is. It's funny how, how this game's run in such weird ways to make us go, there's an update, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you like know? it's yeah, supposed, no. like they could have done uh, an event. Like the community event is nice, but you just, it was just really bad timing. Like you should do it somewhere where it's people are already happy to be there. You know what I mean? Like, like maybe Theater of Blood or Chambers or something, right? Like, I mean, if yeah, they were to, if they, did, if they did this, like at the end of the first week of release, it could have been a lot better timing, right? Because by the end yeah. of the first week, people had the mechanics down. People could solo it after a few days. Before You're right. people realized the drop rates were All that would have done yeah. was kind of build up the hype. I still think it would have died down. But yeah, it yeah, would have been better no, timing. It's, it's not gonna, yeah, it's def- just, yeah, definitely. It's... But I, I agree with what Ree says. I think it's poor execution of the time that this has been... Like, you're right. You're completely bang on with that. I hadn't even thought of that. You're so right. Like, it, it's almost coming at, like, the most random time ever. And it's just like, why now? Yeah. You know? Like, so this boss has a lot of issues. And I, I don't want to, like, sound too bantery and stuff. But, like, it's needed. Because think about it this way. Right, this boss. 
the biggest boss update of the entire year. Mm, it's already dead sad. content before a month. It hasn't even been a month yet. And nobody does this boss except for like me and maybe like a hundred other people it, it, like in a given day. So mm -hmm. that just tells you Kraken is more popping than this boss, which is like, you know, kind of a joke at this point, right? Oh, what the but, fuck? Uh, <laughs> and, and, what is that? What the hell? Oh, dude. Just... oh no. Uh, I was trying I to find a picture was. of the Nightmare boss and it popped up a gold <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come okay, on! It, it pops up his history. That's what. It, no, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's not Damn good. It. So, so I'm gonna stop trying. This, this boss has problems, right? Uh, like, I'll explain the reason why it's so dead content. It's because they decided to make this boss, uh, on average, take a hundred plus hours to get a single item for a person. And if you even want to try to complete the items, it would take you somewhere between two thousand and three thousand hours. You could literally max twice before you can even. Dude, I got fifty-two rune that. crafting. Oh, fuck, I don't even. Re, can't even think about I, that. Do you? I, I spoke about this one the release. Yeah. Do you think? Obviously, part of the reason it must be dead content isn't just the fact that it's rare to get those items. No, it, it is. It is like ninety percent the reason why. It's got to be a okay. decent yeah. amount of it. But there yeah. also has to be a factor of the fact that maybe. The There's items a bunch that you of other get from variables. it aren't as unique or worth grinding. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, the staff yeah. I will, and the I will explain. Good. Yeah, I will. Yep. I will cover that. All right, but ninety percent of the problem is the fact that these items just take way too long. If you want to get an item, right, that's a hundred hours. You will literally need to play nonstop, no sleep for four days just to reach the average rate of getting I've a drop. I've seen someone do that. All right, so no, none of you guys, like even the diehard players find that extremely ridiculous right to even go for that so that's why it's so dead and there's also other problems uh obviously the regular drops are terrible so you you know you add that to the problem and and secondly the unique drops they are best and stuff but the problem is they're so niched that they're re they're used in very specific situations it's nothing like a blowpipe it's nothing like a twisted bow and these they're not, items, it's not a huge impact yeah it? and these so. items are more rare than things like a twisted bow Things like a yeah. bullpen. How much There's do you so think the twisted bow would be if you yeah. can get it off the nightmare boss instead of raids? Like an actual useful item, bro. The twisted if, bow would be in the in the several billion, right? Like if if it was as rare as these orbs or whatever from the nightmare. So yeah, there's a lot of problems, you know, that I mentioned there, and and they all add up. But the the, the but the biggest problem is obviously the rarity. Yeah, I mean, a hundred plus hours just to get a single drop is unheard of uh, outside of court but the problem is like court only has three items and yeah, I, I would argue dude. those items are oh yeah th that's what i was inclined that's, you know what that's i mean exactly historically important dude when you think about corporal <laughs> beast it's like yeah this is comparable to corporal beast in terms of getting a sigil but then like look at the sigils and like look how yeah. unique each and every single one of them are obviously it's debatable whether it's worth I mean, it and you I, might I say mean, the like, it's not good but they all have mm -hmm. like their special uses Whereas if you were to compare the full set of Bandos with a face guard compared to this new best in slot crush armor set, you know, like, it's, it's, how how significant would the yeah. difference be? Do you not think? that significant? That's why it exactly. dropped like three so bill, right? Because it's but just... like the only yeah. Sorry. You know. <clears throat> well, yeah, it dropped what like three bill on Torvesta's video. Just the items in general, like the full set. How and... much is the set now? Do you guys know? I don't know. I'm, I'm um, gonna I'm guess a couple sure. hundred mil for like piece. One bill. I think it's one bill for the, the whole thing. And the mace? Uh, and the mace. I'll check the no, no, not the mace, the armor. Just the oh, okay. Armor. I was going to say the mace was 1.7. That shit's all one bill. That's. But that mm. rarity, I don't I know. I don't know if it's 1.7 now, but yeah. <sighs> I, I don't know. But, anyways, man. like the closest thing you can compare this boss to is Corp. But the thing is, Corp is basically AFKable. And it also drops decent regular drops like cannonballs. Uh, Onyx bolts. This boss is just—it's <laughs> negative from it. Yeah. Way, way worse. It's—it's it's not AFK, and, and you know I've already explained all the other you know problems of the drop rates and the tables it, and whatnot. It feels like a full-time job, doesn't it? It doesn't. It's not fun. It's not a game. It's it, like well, yeah, yeah. It's—it's yeah. it's just a complete chore, and it feels like a waste of time for most players. So Man, I'm awesome. looking at the prices right now, yeah. and it's not. I mean, if these are up to date, which I think they might be, because it's on the the wiki. Yo, give us well, a couple. It's old school. It, you got to check the old buddy. Like uh, Wiki, Wiki is not too. Oh, far I, I don't have old yeah. buddy anymore, mate. But... Oh no, it's on the website. It's not. It's not the client. Like you just do old yeah, buddy. Can... Yeah, it's, it's pretty okay. cool. It's like the Zyves of now. Yeah, you know? they track the actively traded prices, not the uh, the 
the current feasible price of GE. Ah, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, we're nerds. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. It's, it, okay, I don't think there's much to say. It's just like they need to fix the problem of the drop rates and the drop table for Nightmare first before they even dare run a community event trying to support this update because this update is super flawed. Yeah, Absolutely I, super flawed. I think we slapped it up pretty much. Yeah. Now, the same idea of having a challenge for a week, do you think it could fit the mold for another boss? Yeah, it could fit anything. Anything that's relevant. Challenge mode Vorkath, <laughs> challenge mode yeah. Zora. Those would be really fun. They hit hard, but like, and they attack more often. Maybe like one of those asteroid games where it's just everything's coming at you. You got to dodge, but they die fast. Dude, Zor Zora could just be a case if it's constantly on Berserker phase. <laughs> you just right. You have to switch like every way, and there's no like pillars yeah. to block and talk. There's and like it, it two. Could, dude, it could be Berserker phase, and it's changing colors as well. So you got to keep switching and prey flicking. Dude, like, yeah, imagine I think that. that'd be perfect. I think community events, if done right, is great for the game because it, it brings us closer yeah we're not stuff. trying to smash community events we just want them yeah fun right it's yeah we fun. want it to be done properly right like a pk yeah. no we're not talking about pk uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's a long ways to go my friend <laughs> all righty so we hold on man can we talk about this tweet that i posted real quick for yeah, yeah can you link it oh, yeah it's at the bottom of the discord Ooh, my bad i see it right yeah. here so basically i uh i ta i he pretty much shit out. on it no, i was kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tweeted about the same problem. Oh right? my god, um, you to, guys went to, in to the RuneScape Twitter because like they released it, whatever. You know, I just talked about the same thing I just told you guys. And then Mod Husky, I think he, I'm not sure what exactly he does for this boss, like in management. Like he might be the ones doing the drop table. I'm not sure. You but, want me to read it out before you talk? But basically, yeah, read it, read uh, out, he responded. Do you, hey, I don't know. Yeah, if I'll you want to read the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, read, read, read it. I, I want to hear the whole thing. I'm a, I'm a fast reader. Time. I'm a fast reader. Okay, so Runescape talks about the new Fasani mm -hmm. boss, and Rice posts hardcore on nightmare mode. A reasonable, unique rates could save the only big boss of 2020 from being bed content. You done goofed, Jagex. Husky goes. I'm not convinced that having higher drop rates for a week long event would be a good idea. Perhaps if it could have stayed around permanently. Uh, and then we're gonna skip whoever the fuck that is. If it was made permanent, we would definitely review the feedback from players. So, why is it not a good idea? Says Rice. The boss is close to dead in a month. Drop system needs reworks. You can't make niche best in slot items take thousands of hours to complete. Will there be any news on balancing nightmare? I don't see the message before. A viable solution to the problem would be to make perm hard mode. That's not just more damage, but more mechanics and have the drop rates more realistic. I like that. Currently, it's uh, easily 100 hours to get a drop. The drop rate needs to balance uh, current numbers, blah, blah, blah. You've said that already before. And then Husky replies, yeah, I get where you're coming from. We still need to review the boss. Permanent hard uh, hard mode. If we did release the permanent hard mode, it would be a much better drop table. Okay, thank you for the clarification. So he kind of agrees with what you said after a bit. If, if it was permanent, though. That's it's not yeah, a week long, but it needs to oh, be yeah, permanent yeah. in his eyes. Apparently, that's that's the whole point. Yeah, I mean, it, it for me, what I said is you know assumed it's permanent. Like the whole one week thing for Harmo is ridiculous. You know, right? Like, yeah, you made some good points in there. Uh, I'm just glad you kind of took Dude. the time to message back. Usually, it's my dash. I, yeah, <laughs> no, gonna... I mean, I appreciate my husky for being you know like responsive, but I just hope they actually give us more info about you know how they're gonna go about fixing this boss because. It, it would be dumb, right, to let the only big boss of this year be dead content. Well, how many things have they so. let be dead content? It's like a graveyard of updates, so mm -hmm. it's it's yeah. it's decently likely it'll happen. I am. Um, I'm gonna have to retweet what you said, Ree, with uh -huh. the caption "Big Brain has spoken." <laughs> <laughs> OSR's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Let's go on to better news, something that I think a lot of people oh, are looking forward the to. Best, no, no, dude, I got the best news. Scroll I will be... all the way down. Scroll, <laughs> scroll down. Scroll down on this. All the way to the bottom. In other news. Wait, you're on the wrong one. You're Wait, on the wrong one, dude. Balls, are you on game improvements? Where are you at, This buddy? one. This one, the one that we were just on with the Nightmare. Oh, I have literally the, oh, the best. The tinted no, 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 all the way down, no, no, all the way no, down, no. all the way down. Right there, top line in, in other news. The PvP World Rotator. Rotator? Rotor? Oh, Last right. man standing world will be free, free, free UK world for the next two fucking weeks. Let's go, boys. That is the best thing I've heard all fucking day. Right there. Are they going to been... change anything, though? It's so fucking Mate, boring. I don't care. I don't care. Look, I've been doing dead man, uh, Last Man Standing in your American world Dude, for the last Dude, it sucks weeks, for me, though. You're probably going to get a shit world. BS shit I've ever had to deal with, man. The delays? 
literally, mate, I could smash my screen. Dude, I hope it's good for you because the American world oh, still wasn't good for me. It was trash. Mate, do you know that granite more handles are like close to a mil at the moment? I'd be I'm making gonna, bank from last month. I'm going to start doing some Trover parchments with my points. Um, no, 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 no. You need to do, dude, you need to do granite more. Dude, that oh, is a more? mil a piece and it's 15 points. Okay. Two wins, then you get a mil. I have, like it's 300, like a mil. I have 300 points chilling right now. So. Hey, go and buy granite moles. I might have to do you, that. You probably have like 30 mil worth of uh, granite mole handles. I'm I've not been, even kidding. I've been fucking getting slapped by clans. I need some money. <laughs> uh -huh. All yeah, right. That's the best thing I've seen all day. Best update that we're going to hear. Last what, month what, standing. What about the Darkmire, dude? We got settled yeah. swamp over here. The artwork, oh, okay. by the way. That's the more positive. That, stuff. All right, that, that that does look sick. I don't know. I've not seen this. Let's get into it. It's funny because yeah. what I said to Rice earlier when you were uh, eating or I don't know what you're doing before. My pasta. Yeah, your pasta. Uh, I said the only thing that <laughs> hasn't. I'm gonna it's coming slap. Up the same all right. Only thing that has <laughs> has not let me down is the RuneScape artists on the squad because I swear all the artwork. Always looks phenomenal. It looks look at this. It's beautiful. That's just kind of like almost a fan art kind of thing. It, it's yep. always good. That's you know. Oh, yep. They never I want to. I want to be a peasant that's going through the swamp to have a look at the big city. And if I get caught, I die. But I want to have a look at its glory. That's mm -hmm. what makes me feel, man. That could literally be a novel right there. I wish they took that's out the beautiful. ghetto though. The ghetto is so ugly near the raids too. But it's a quest, so it's whatever. Uh, I'll read a little bit of this lore right here, and then we'll jump into it. A darkness has fallen over Mortania. The Myra Q, let me just say that, Freedom Fighters have achieved their first major victory over the vampires with the death of Rannis Draken. However, their newly found hope is unlikely to last. After many years of absence, Lord, fuck that guy's name, the vampire overlord of Mortania has finally emerged from its castle, but he has one goal, to, to avenge his brother and eradicate the Myra Kui once for, and for all. I don't know how to say that word. Is that, the, is that the, the guy who married the fat girl at the end of Raids 2? Well, Verzik. Yeah, she's got to be slapping cheeks with somebody, um, right? To, uh, sorry, Reed, do you know the lore to TOD? <laughs> Mm, it's gonna yeah, be some real bit. weird fan art, bro. Verzik isn't Verzik the chick? She's like, um, <laughs> like she. I don't know. Actually, I really don't know. I she's know like that, a Zami like general. She took over the yeah. the castle. That's a like, spider lady, joy. right? We're talking about the big, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the boss, yeah, that's the the big boss. spider lady. But she like all of the um all of the bosses and demi bosses go leading up to her. She like runs it, like you know, yeah, she, yeah. She she's, the one she's in charge. she owns the place now. She, it she took it over from like the Saradum and whatever. Because like that place was originally Saradum. Like this whole this whole area, like Dark Mind stuff, was originally like Saradum. And, like and the they Zami. were real bad. I'd be yeah, taking yeah, over yeah. places Zami too over. with that fucking power. She just kind of like swings down. Imagine you can do that shit in the wild. Just start slapping people. Fuck, oh, dude. I'd be running shit too, man. So, new quest, Sins of the Father. Do you guys know much about this? I, I actually haven't. Here's the requirements right here. Quest requirements, Tale of Hope, Vampire Slayer, and then skills. Most people should have that. Um, yep. And that unlocks the Darkmire, I guess. Am I correct in saying that? That quest would unlock the new area for Mortania? I'm looking at Rice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, wait, sorry. Yeah. Say, say that again. I'm just reading the rewards. Oh, um, like the Sins of the Father quest, would that unlock the, the new area? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just want to make sure. Wait, what's that, what's that quest in Mortania, mm -hmm. which is... Next to McQueer or McQuire, McQueer, <laughs> McQueer, <laughs> Miraquir, right? There's like a little, there's a little part of the southeast map of Mortania. It's like a, an abandoned village. I think there's vampires in there. What quest is it to get into? You mean with the is shades? A... You talk about the shades? No, 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 no way no. down, further, yeah. like da down directly south from the barrows. In aid of Myra, taste, taste might maybe to the side of that. Do you know what the quest is? Uh, be... Darkness, 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 uh, Halavale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that that's the one. one. So we yeah. don't have to do that quest to be able to do this quest and unlock the new area. Oh, so you can skip that whole part? Apparently, yeah. It says you just need a taste of hope and vampire slayer. That's kind of nice, because that quest is yeah. not very fun. No, that I think a awesome. taste of hope requires all those quests. Oh, you can check oh does it? it? Oh, yeah. man, I got to do that then. That sucks. All right. Do, do, do you navigating that. the ghetto in that quest is the worst. 
Oh my god. Yeah, what, yeah, let me, when I you say the, the ghetto, there's what part? There's a you ghetto part in the city where it's just you go up yeah. and down and there's like fucking lot cloths and shit. Yeah, it's like yeah, they yeah. just <laughs> peasants. It's the worst. It's it's kind of fucked in a way. It's kind of fucked. Um, yeah, I mean, you just follow the quest guide or watch Slayer music and you'll be good. It's pretty, you know. Slayer music. Click here to see more about the vampires. So the concept art, is this just going to be like farmable NPCs that we're looking at? Yeah, you got to click on it. You got to click on it. I, oh, oops, I missed yeah. that one. No, 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 I did click on that. Yeah, oh, that's okay, the clickable part. Uh, the capital of vampires and home of Castle Draken, Darkmire stood for centuries as an imposing and impenetrable blight on Mortania. Within its stone walls, you'll find a multiple of new shops, amenities, and skilling methods. Okay, I didn't say monsters, but I'm, I'm I'm just gonna guess. Some of them are, yeah. You can actually kill them later on. Okay. Like some of it. How how do you guys feel, by the way, about this? Like, I like this. You see, like the little artistic characters they've got drawn there, specifically for this post. Like, they're not gonna be in game. How do yeah. you guys feel about them spending dev time or well, artist time? Like I said, the artists never that's let a me big down. Deal. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's definitely a good thing. But, like, do you think that it's more appealing? Like, we'll get more people to read the updates? I think it looks really cool. That's really... Yeah. Like, well, I, I mean, think. people don't like reading, so... It's people just, don't like that's reading. That's how it is. They need, yeah. like, so a... Reading. Picture book. Picture book updates. People like to rely on their friends to tell Dude, them Jagex, hit me up, yeah. man. Or, hit my business strippers. email. Every update, I'll just yeah, make a two-minute video. Or, Straight right up the on old there. Score Inscape podcast, man. Yeah, pretty much. Nobody likes to read this. Can you, know? you imagine, you though, like, you it. open an update, and there's a video, and then a vlog, and you just click on the video, and someone just tells you Dude, what it is? We've literally yeah. been saying that for years, man. I remember Yeah, that's what we're that. doing. Us. That's what we're doing for Jagex. I know, yeah, but we could do, like, mini versions, and then they could hire us. Come well, on, bro. What we, what we could do is every week, we could submit the podcast video and add it to Jagex, all of us. All the time, get all of our fans <laughs> to do it. Get every single person watching this as a Twitter account at Old School Runescape on Twitter. Follow us, retweet it, tag Jagex, and say, "Post this on your main site." We could, like, and we would, we, we would do like lightning time. round podcasts, five minute up. You know, we just and, go through. And it. We're like we're flashing gold sights and everything in the middle of the podcast. All right, don't don't <laughs> talk about. I just try to find a picture of the Nightmare Boss Man. I don't know why that's linked to a gold sight, but don't buy gold, <laughs> boys. It's bad. Um pickpocketing vire lords and vire ladies so there's gonna be a new thieving method it requires 82 thieving and rolls on a new loot table which includes the uniques of blood shard and an attachment to the amulet of fury that creates the blood fury well, i'm gonna read yeah. a little more into this real quick mm -hmm. this passive saps the life from your opponents while doing melee damage and gives a small percentage of health back so life steal when a blood shard is attached to your fury, you have a 10% chance of healing, 10% of the damage you deal with a minimum of one. For example, if you had a 40, you get four HP, blah, 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 blah. You have 10,000 successful hits. After that, the blood shard will be destroyed, leaving you with just Amulet of Fury. Kind of annoyed it doesn't take the Amulet of Fury away. Why would, you know what I mean? We, they're, they're dropping in prices. They should start trying to get rid of more Onyxes. Like if it just all just vanished, that'd be great. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, well, they, they kind of fixed the Onyx a bit by nerfing Sokano. Ah, recently. okay. Well, if they just a lot do of it all together, okay now, so, yeah. <laughs> the Fury price would go like this again. Um, yeah. Which would be good. And yeah, the Blood Fury has, has, has so some cheap. interesting uh, applications, I guess. But honestly, the Torture and you know the Zenites are probably going to be still Best way better. Slot. Like 10% yeah. of just temper. You know, it's not going to do much, really. Yeah, it's going to be like maybe okay to use in super like well, creative It scenarios. only works in like melee, right? So you can even yeah, use it yeah. for Inferno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's only for melee, yeah. Yeah, so it's there, there'd be areas, I guess. I have one use for it if it comes out. That's it. That's what I can think AFK of. AFK training. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, just to kill Corp with it. it oh, okay. Method. Okay. Um, it's a sweaty method. You take damage from it, so I. I, I oh, think it's like a speed the, run. Uh, yeah, well, it's just so you, it's a sweaty method. So, so you have to like actually take damage from the boss while you kill it because you don't want to spend all the time specking it down to zero. Okay. So the Fury has good defense, and if there's the you know the blood version, you can also heal a little bit. And then back. here's a picture of it. If so. you can kind of see, it just looks a lot more red, like the torture. I like that. Yeah, pretty. It might just be a, an item to wear for fashion scape, really. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you only go back up. You see it? This amulet is effectively soul split. You're you're aware of that, right? It's like super shitty soul split. It's really shitty soul split. 
Ten percent. Ten percent. So you can ten percent of Slayer. Every ten percent. No, no. It's ten percent of ten percent. It's ten percent oh. chance to activate. It's like Guthans. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah. So. Okay, that's that sounds reasonable. I like that. Yeah, it's I not like overpower or anything. It's kind like, of fun to PK with, I guess. I'd probably try that hat. Yeah, yeah. You well, can see what we can do, dude. That's effectively like you know a mini soul split. I like that. It yeah, might give I you like, like half a brew with any of your fight or something. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it could be it'd be quite quite good, really. Imagine that with the Sang Staff. Like if you were killing a bot, like imagine that with the Sang Staff oh, killing the Kraken. You can't. Do you think yeah, 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 you can't it only works with melee. Bro. Oh. Yeah. That's why it would be good oh. at like Inferno, but it only works for melee. Sadly. Imagine that with the Sourdome and Godsword and it procs. Ten percent chance, probably. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> be like, please work. Yeah, I'd rather wear a torture though. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, and then I'm they have it. Elite Virewatch, which is apparently a new monster because it says killing. And they are the most powerful versions of the normal Virewatch. And the only reason people know about those monsters is because of Settled. So I guess people will know now. Oh, they existed I mean, before. They, they yeah, they have these before. in RuneScape free, man. Oh, these things were yeah. pretty good. I were think they were really? like a good moneymaker. Yeah, this point. stuff happened. Yeah, like Darkmire is something that already happened in our street. Yeah, dude. This is like the Matrix, I'm a scrub. mate. It's just happening all over again. Yeah. Bro, history Except repeats. It's a, a bit different this time. They can be killed for yeah. an improved loot table, which includes blood shards again, and it counts towards a vampire slayer task. Uh... And Wait, then yeah, you get vampires as a slayer task. You can get two to two hundred to two fifty of them from Konar yeah, Duradel. Yeah, you can Shelter. unlock it. Yeah, you can unlock oh. it if you want. I, mean, I wish we knew more about the drop tables, but that's all good. Yeah, well, you got it's, it's hit or miss. You know, it's, hit or it's miss probably going to be a lot of blood runes. I expect <laughs> bloods are very expensive. Yeah, hit or miss, bro. Honestly, on that. I stuff. expect you could get the occasional vial of blood from them as well. So maybe you don't have to do tob for that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Could be an maybe, alternate maybe. version. Would that would that be a good thing or a bad thing though for TOB? Oh, dude, I don't if know. If they were to make vile bloods acquirable outside of the actual well, game. nah, vile bloods is overly saturated. They did a bad job with that. So basically, <laughs> you have so no many. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like it's true. It's true. Like they made the vile bloods require so little versus how much blood runes you use. You'll never have to worry about it. Like vile bloods are already there's already way too many in the game. You'll never actually be able to use it all up. Okay. Because it is 100, I think it's 300 blood runes for one vile blood. So, so vile, uh, so blood rune use is 300 times more than a vile blood. If that makes sense, right? Man, I fucking love this game. Yeah. So, there's so, so much. Yeah, there's just they, so they much. They kind of messed that up. They, they gave, they made the vile bloods too common. And they also made the blood rune use crazy high in relationship to the vile bloods. So, it wouldn't really do anything. Even if they added more vile bloods to, do you feel like yeah, a lot of these updates yeah. are aren't based around like trying to improve the game, like in, in a way where it's They're fun, just but just it, right? it, it, yeah. it's trying to expand the game, you know? Yeah, but it feels it's like a lot of them are trying to tackle these like uh, certain areas where you need to take certain items out of the game. Like, you feel like that's what some updates are, you know? Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because what, like what's happened is uh, there's been a lot of updates which. You know, there there've been a lot of good updates, right? Jagex yeah, have made course. some good updates, and I think they're finally starting to look at things that are quite concerning. And obviously, the fury and the amount of um, Onyx is coming into the game is a concerning matter. And it's like they're coming up with little solutions time and time again, which deal with those problems, which is great. Like you can't bash that; that's fantastic. You know? No, I was it's just like, saying, like it feels like a lot of these updates lately are they're fixing a solution. As or fixing yeah, a problem, fixing, sorry. They're fixing just, a problem, yes. Yeah, no, fixing, fixing a problem with yeah. fixing a problem with future content, which is yeah. a very good way of doing it, to be fair. True that. I just wish the uh the fury kind of disappeared after it, because you get the fury back. Yeah, it's just not good enough for it to like justify True. sinking a fury. Maybe so. like fifteen percent, you know, I don't know. Also, a new essence mine? What? Hollowed Oh god! Oh, I what heard the about this. Fuck what, what is, is this that word? word, dude? Hollow Sepulcher, I think. Sepulcher. I don't, I'm not sure. They're like, what? What kind yeah. of name can we throw on this shit to make people not like? <laughs> Basically, what they did is they went on the source.com, typed in dungeon, and then they looked for a fancy you know, <laughs> a synonym option. or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's like, what I would a do. Vampire word. <laughs> Dude, uh, I, I think you underestimate how geeky some of the Jagex team are, man. Yeah, they do a lot of D&D, I bet. They hey, do, mate. I actually played I my first game play. of D&D about two months ago, and yeah. it was... Do you know who I played? I made up uh, I made up a tree wizard. 
a that tree was like it, it was like eight foot tall. It was a tree, and like I was Groot? I was a I was a tree wizard, kind of yeah. Except for I I hit uh, I rolled the lowest on all personality traits, and I was like the biggest cunt ever. <laughs> and like obviously we're role playing me and my mates, and um, every time I spoke, it was just like the most like cynical stuff. It's unbelievable. Pretty much it's a clan so, member. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, mate. Pretty much. It, it was honestly, it was so much fun. D and D, you guys should play it. If you got yeah. some close friends, do it. I wish. 100%. Yeah, that does sound fun. Uh, not sponsored by D and D. Oh wait, sponsored by? D &D? Can we be? Let me drop them an email. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I guess should I read into the essence mine? Yeah, uh, I want to know about the essence mine. Oh, okie dokie. Before We're the uh, everything. <laughs> yeah, if I, we got like forty minutes still. Uh, oh, okay. Before Which the one? vampires came to Mortania, the region was known as Hallowvale and was ruled over by Ice Icene Queen Elfertarte Hallow. Fuck these names. She ruled the region from the capital city in the southeast, a city that follow a city that following the vampire takeover became two cities: Darkmire and Mire Ditch. Mayor Ditch, with the exception of the royal family who had their own private graveyard. What the fuck has to do with this shit? Uh, and they built a great crypt known as the Hollowed Sklapacha. So that's yeah, I think it's sepulcher. I'm not so sure. this is the Lord. It has nothing to do with what it is. A group of unknown individuals are particularly interested in recovering any of the Hollowvale's old currency, hollowed marks from the Sklapacha. To help them with this, they are willing to reward anyone who obtains the hollow. It's like a mini game, then not really like a. It's a it's a Jody thing. Yeah, it's like. Rooftops, except it's more interesting, I guess. Agility? Yeah, 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 yeah. Click on the to see oh, more oops. information. Yeah. Oh, I already did. That's that's when it pops out. This is now uh, a different thing okay. here. Oh, is it? Oh, no, it is. That, that, is, that, that is it. Yeah. Yeah, this is the sepulcher. Well, yeah. it kind of looks cool. Uh, it looks like a chess game. Hmm. Yeah, it is an agility yeah. thing. Okay. Are yeah, we... you get rewards from it. The marks that you get from it, you can use to uh, buy new stuff that is under the down there. I'm mad. And I should have read thing this. I'm interested in is the dark graceful. You can uh, use those new marks to uh, dye your graceful black. So that's how the black graceful is getting in the game. People yeah. love colored graceful. What is like up black. with that? I, I don't like the other ones except for like the silver. One that, that is the have, weirdest shit that has been so popular is colored graceful sets, man. You know why? Power Rangers. <laughs> sure Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. As long as people like it. Uh, Rakesy, what's yeah. your favorite color? My one's cool. Um, dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I was totally phased out. What? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about colored graceful, bro. What are you licking your yeah. mic over there? Sorry, boys. Uh, what, what was this about the uh, agility or you know what? what this man doesn't <laughs> own a set of graceful, it, it doesn't matter. You know, actually, Rakes, me. here, give this a read. Here, how about that, man? No, 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 we already read it, right? No, we read this part, bro. We read the lore, we didn't read how the game uh, works. We should have read yeah. this. Shit, all right, all right, all right. One second. It's it's a little blurry on on your end. So let me see. Oh, okay, I got. Once a player enters the sepulcher, <laughs> they'll yeah. be given a limited amount of time to raid the crypt. The crypt will be filled with tombs hiding stealable items. Ooh. Sounds a little bit like pyramid plunder. Yeah, a little bit. I, I love pyramid plunder. <laughs> it'll be randomly chosen from a new loot table with a rare chance of obtaining a onyx. What? No, Hallow oh. Park. <laughs> Did you say certain more? <laughs> Bro, you got me. Oh, man. No, I was like, <laughs> me and Rice both fucking turned, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, what? That was fucked um, up. All right. <laughs> players will earn, will also earn agility XP for avoiding the various traps in this area, as well as getting a bonus map XP whenever a tomb is looted. While treasure may be rewarding, the more time you have remaining when you leave the crypt, the more agility XP you gain. Well, beware, if you start a floor and don't complete it before the time runs out, you will sacrifice all of your potential earned agility XP. Mm. The sepulcher, the sepulcher is made up of five levels, each requiring a higher agility level to access. If focused on, the expected agility XP gained for each floor is estimated to be slightly higher than the average Higher than the XP gained on rooftop courses. Similar to Pyramid Plunder, mm -hmm. players access an F level via the previous one. The agility levels are as are required. Right are, here. My brain. So it no is good. literally agility Pyramid Plunder. 
a vampire agility pyramid plunder. Sounds like good content, mate. I'm not gonna lie, dude. The <laughs> skilling content and P like the skilling PVM Thank content Jody. they come out with, they do a good job. Looks good. Well, I like that idea. Uh, and then here is more information about the rewards from the the Soba Jupiter. Uh, wait, those are rewards or is it just? Oh no, this oh, is no. just ideas. Yeah, it comes right here. Where's Ooh, the onyx? Ring of. <laughs> Ring of Endurance. This ring requires 70 agility to equip, and you charge it up with a thousand doses of stamina. What? Wait, 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 wait. A charge is consumed when you drink the stamina potion, making the effect of the potion last twice as long. Oh, yeah. it's good for like farm okay. runs and stuff. I thought it was going to be the most runs. overpowered ring of all time, but it just makes stamina's last longer if I bring in stamina. I think this ring will be best in slot for the Sepulchre. Because I, it sounds like you gotta do a fuck ton of running, so having the ring will basically double. This ring's gonna be worth well. a lot for Sarah solos too. Uh nah, not. I don't think people really use this for Sarah solos because the archer's ring is so good. I don't know, double the because people can stay in there forever as long as they have. Well, stamina, I mean, rich right? people already use already use uh, T bows and purple sweets, and they don't even they can stay there forever as All it right. is. How about this? Then? What if it's like an yeah. Iron Man that's just starting mm. out? Would this be a good idea for? It could be good. I mean, it could, it could be good I think it's better. You save your stamina. I mean, I don't know, bro. It, it, it still uses the might. same amount. It just you don't have to take it all. Yeah, the only issue is you're gonna miss on the Archer's Ring, so or the or the Suffering or whatever you use. The Archer's Ring is just really nice. Like, Archer's you, you is really nice, Zara, yeah, but... Yeah. I mean, it depends, dude. I just it don't think it, it would be that that important for Sarah. It's mostly going to be for scaling, for sure, because you don't need to have any other rings, right? Warren? This is going to be the best in slot questing ring. Oh, um, uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Are like, you going to be able to you gonna you trade this thing? Or? Uh, the, train, the charge ring is untradeable, and reverting the ring makes it tradable. So, yeah, as long as it doesn't have any charges... Oh, it is tradable. You can trade it. I'm, yeah, wait, wait, what, what do you charge it with? Sorry, what, what was stamina, the charge? Stamina, stamina potions. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I need to. What? You charge it with up to one thousand doses of stamina, and then when you drink a dose, it makes that dose last twice as long, but it takes up a dose. So it's the same shit, just in a ring. Yeah. I kinda... Wait, so you can't drink? You can't activate the ring and basically have a stamina, though, can you? No, no. you drink the okay. stamina to activate the ring. Okay, I, sorry. I thought that maybe you could put the staminas into it, and then you nah, could like, operate, and it would just give nah. you a stamina bonus. That would have been and really strong, have... but you know, nah, you still need the stamina. Basically, the the rain basically lets you carry twice as many staminas in one inventory. Good, because if you could just I unlimited mean, run, that'd be yeah. fucking strong. That would be that. Oh, that would be that would be the best in slot that, for Sarah. <laughs> I, I, dude, I'll tell you this: what you just described there for me personally. As a regular player who's solo Saradoman and who often runs out of stamina, and that's when I telly, that would double my trips to Saradoman. That would be useful well, to Saradoman. Yeah, for slightly slower kills. You know? Well, I mean, I, I'd say it was worth it if you get double right. the length for You're trips. You're up here. Not really everyone's yeah, up I mean, here, you know. Yeah. We got think, people think, down here. I'm Maybe I'm down here. I'm, yeah. Right no, I'm not saying somewhere. that you can't use. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't think. I'm not saying you can't use the ring there. I just, I was, say, I was just saying it's mostly used for skilling. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. I, I think yeah. it probably have it probably have its uh, places everywhere. To be honest with you, but yeah, it could yeah, be it has some decent. Sure, that's yeah. a really cool ring. Um, yeah. I I wonder how much it's gonna be. I'm very curious to see how much that's gonna be when it releases. And it's probably gonna be several mil at least. Maybe I would, I would more. Uh, like all the big boy skillers would want that. It depends know? how long it takes to get. And then they also give you the strange old lock pick. This lock pick will allow. Oh, is this the one that allows you to bypass Barrow's doors? Wow. It's so dumb, dude. When you lockpick right. to open a door with, uh, so you can just with this lockpick, you could speed run barrows and do no puzzles. <laughs> yeah. As if barrow pieces weren't cheap enough, but right, yeah. and as if the puzzle wasn't fucking easy enough, but whatever. Um, wow, they got a yeah, lot yeah, more just rewards. Save you a few, you know, save you like one second every time, you know, adds up. Oh, they got all of the hollowed items. Hollowed token, hollowed grapple, hollowed Dude, focus. You know, I, I love these updates. I really do. I really like the way they're coming in. And if there's one thing that is absolutely crystal clear and certain in my mind, the quality and like the depth of knowledge that has gone into these updates that they have proposed, when you compare this to any fucking reward they've suggested as a PvP item as a reward, it's like the people that are talking about this stuff, the skilling side of the game, 
they know what they're talking about. Okay, that's all they do. It's fucking yeah, exactly. It's it's pretty damn. It's clear why they people, play RuneScape, right? It's weird. Yeah, right? it, exactly. It's pretty clear that the people at Jagex working there are one hundred percent skillers, Iron Men, and yeah, that's so, the kind of like game that they they enjoy. They're bank you know? yeah, That's yeah, just okay. dude. I'm being blown away because I'm not. It's nothing bad. Like these rewards yeah. are amazing, but yeah, in comparison you know why, to the though? other rewards, you know why though? It's just PvP is too antagonizing. Like every time someone mentions a PvP update, the non PvPers are thinking like, "Oh man, I can't, uh, this is gonna be annoying because I'm gonna be in the wilderness sometimes, and these guys are gonna use this new shit." No, yeah, I mean it's not like the rewards themselves are inherently like the the strong ones that get voted no are inherently bad. It's just that it, it is conflict of interest at its finest, right? right? If it's it's scaling or PVM update, like what you do doesn't really impact someone else directly. But if it's a PKing update, all these players that are PVMers and skills are like, oh man, I don't want to have to deal with this shit in the wilderness, you know? And that's the problem, you know? Things that are seemingly interesting for PKers, yeah. they will get voted no because it's conflict of interest. It, it just Ooh. gets in the way of the mass of players. Now, I had an idea. I had. Oh, yeah. I, I have yeah. an idea. This is something that I don't think we've you ever need discussed. need to find a way to separate the. Wait, PV wait, wait. Is it, is it a PK idea? PVM. This yeah. idea, I'd like to genuinely hear what you have to say. I pitched it the other day, actually. Um, and this is regarding mm -hmm. PvP weapons and PvP armor. Whether it comes in the shape and form that we already know, being like Vesta, Morgans, and Zoriel, or if it's something different, but PvP armor armor, and PvP weapons. What if, if they were to introduce PvP weapons and armor, instead of it being something which is found within the wilderness, it can actually be farmed in a safe place outside of the wilderness. Therefore, the people that are the PVMers are making money from killing whatever drops it, and then the PKers are actually being able to use it. So everybody um, gets a little something. I think it wouldn't be as a conflict of interest, but I think it still would be because at the because uh, ultimately those weapons would be used against the PVMers and the skillers. <laughs> but but and the, the, the like, please kill me have with a this. choice. But but the thing is, these weapons would be worth a happen. lot of money. They'd be worth a lot of money. Bear that yeah, in mind. Yeah, but here's the problem: like they still vote no because they, ultimately it'll be used against the people that you know farm them, right? I, what what really needs I to mean, happen? Is PvP needs to be separated from the PVM and the skilling. What I mean by that is the Elo system have PvPers fight PvPers, right? You can bring in all I these agree. new items for the PvP scene, but make it not so that it impacts people right. outside. I, yeah, I agree saying? with that last part, right. but I disagree with the first part because yeah. If the PvP weapons and armor were farmable outside of the wilderness, so you can kill I them, didn't, I, didn't, I don't care if it's farmable outside or inside. I, I don't. That's okay, not but the point. my my yeah. point is like you would make a lot more money from doing that than what you would fucking doing hard clue scrolls in the wildy. So why people would care? I don't think they would. And at the end of the day, no, no, people the care about no wildy. people care about being annoyed by PKers using new stuff against them. That's what they're annoyed. At annoyed about because it's conflict of interest well guys i have been a good boy i have not brought pk yeah. because i have the idea that in a future podcast we can bring a lot of pkers into one podcast and then we could just fuck around the wild while we're doing the podcast i already have an idea about that yeah 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 and then I'm we can saying, go like, over these ideas because i'm interested in them but i'm trying yeah. to hold back you know what i'm saying because yeah, i'll go no, on I, I, whole podcast. i'm gonna keep it short but like it's just it really just comes down to conflict of interest. Like, PvPers need to be able to fight other PvPers. You know what I'm saying? The fact that right now, every time you try to bring a new PvP update, it always involves the other players that don't want to be in contact well, with Well, that's the food fighting. chain, bro. You can't yeah, have no, a... But that, but that food chain is not sustainable. It's not... Like, you cannot actually make it work. It will never work in, in this day and age because nobody that wants to PvP wants to be in conflict with somebody that is going to fight you. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. You're forcing these players to go into the wilderness and have to deal with people that want to fight, but they don't want to fight. No, so I, it's I like see. I I big, big I just cross. Dude, let's, let's I know jump you like into the wilderness this on you know, the you know, PKing you like, you podcast like the a lot, because but I'm just I want to dissect you can never that. Fix it. Yeah, you just will never fix it if all you do is try to bring players that don't want to fight into the, into the wilderness. Well, you know? they want profit, and then their profit gets made, and they make more than PKers, but PKers want to have fun. Yeah, they need but to kill they will never understand. They will never. They will never find that to be fair. That's that's the problem. Oh, so. fuck. All right. See, let's... <laughs> Anyways, I'm done. Yeah, All right. We'll bring it up on the PKM podcast. Hopefully soon, because I, I have a lot to say, but 
Let's get back in because we still got some items for the uh, the the what's it called the schlop a schlop shop. They got a bunch of uh, things that have hollowed in front of it. They got the token, grapple, focus, symbol, hammer, and ring. Uh, I think all these these uh, help. What does it say? To take some hallowed marks off your hands in exchange for rewards, you'll find these quite useful in raiding in your crypt adventure. So these items help you in the in the mini game or whatever it's called, the uh, agility training. So you're gonna bring these into uh, the area. This token, when consumed, will within the hollow will add an extra minute. Stuff like that. I don't think we need to go through them, but they have their own rewards that can be used towards uh, the grinding. That's kind of nice. Um, and then yeah, here's the dark bad. graceful right here. It's the <laughs> that looks cool. I feel that looks nice. <laughs> that was the question we were asking. It's like, what color graceful do you like? Um, <laughs> and you're yeah, like, I like, I like <laughs> easy, easily. Bro, I don't give a shit about colored graceful. I think I've PK'd every yeah. color. <laughs> yeah, I don't this really care. Except this black one resonates with me, so I'm gonna go for it. You emo, bro. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It just looks cool. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Dark dope. acorn. When used on a giant squirrel pet, will turn it into a black and red version. What? You can give this to your pet to have it morph into something else. Yeah, yeah. Scroll down. And this is what you it looks like, huh? It. Oh. Yeah. It went from the shittiest pet to maybe like top 10. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. Just make everything darker. It looks cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Dark and red, man. Black and red. Uh, uh, and yeah, I think we uh, slapped up all of this, man. We. Yeah, we pretty in. much. Yeah, we covered, covered it pretty well, I think. Yeah. Cool. It went from uh, my food, that boys. Bassani's Nightmare to the Darkmire Pole. And remember, guys, we're going to want to do a podcast uh, with everybody who hasn't got their shit from Jagex because it's actually a huge problem. And if they're going to keep doing these rewards, well, they better send them out, right? So hopefully next time we'll have, have that going or possibly the PK podcast because I've been holding back and I cannot wait. <laughs> I think PK podcast would be fun, man. I want to see Re out there in four hours. Oh, yeah. Risking the bank. On Iron Man, too. He's got like 40 sets. Max Mage, mate. Nothing less. That'd be badass. That'd be sweet. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up, boys. Is there anything mm -hmm. else you guys want to say? Uh, nope. That's it. Hope, this, hope the servers get better. Yeah, yeah. Like the video. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Tell your grandma. If you enjoy. Don't buy gold.